From newstalkzb.co.nz It's Mike Hosking. Hosking's first. Hello. The others follow. The Mike Hosking Breakfast on Newstalk ZB. Thirteen minutes past eight, he's not done bad for a kid from Whangarei. Keith Urban, he moved to Australia, picked up a guitar, started singing, won a few contests, married Nicole Kidman, became a judge on The Voice. There's a story for you. Anyway, the big talk is whether he'll be back for The Voice next year, whether he'll end up on American Idol. Let's ask him. Keith Urban is with us. Good morning. Good morning, Mike. Do you still claim a connection to New Zealand, or have you sort of buried all of that? Oh, well, no. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'll always be... Uh hadn't born in Wangarei and uh, I've certainly got plenty of relatives still all through mostly the North Island um, but yes I still have a, um, an uncle in, uh, and an aunt in, in Wangarei It's just that the Australians tend to take things from New Zealand and you know pretend they're Australian and they've always been Australian <laughs> you know what I'm saying well, and yeah, and I, you know, but also I was I was like barely two years old when my folks moved to Queensland, so I was very much raised in Australia. But um, uh, you know, and now I've, of course I've lived in Nashville for the last twenty years. I've lived in Nashville. Is Nashville, by the way, all it's cracked up to be? I mean, it, in that very traditional country western type of thing, that that's how we think of Nashville. But I'm assuming, given what you've done, it's changed immeasurably over the years. Uh, it's always been changing, and I think just, uh, you know, what even what the genre country, you know, really is today is, 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 of course, you know, not what it was five years ago, let alone a decade or more ago. Uh, and there's always been um, shifts in and away from the pop influence into country, and right now, of course, you've got Taylor and Lady Antebellum and a lot of artists like that. So it's a Nashville is just a I, you know I've been here a long time but I just love it as a music town as well. There's all kinds of music here. Was it easy to crack in that sense when you brought your sort of music to Nashville, or was there a lot of traditional sort of viewpoints on that? Uh, it certainly wasn't easy. No, um, I, I moved in '92 and I didn't really have any sort of traction. I guess you know nothing was really happening until maybe about eight years later, probably around '99, 2000. And what happened? Was there a magic eureka moment or just gradual hard work? I think, well, I mean, hard work for sure, but I think just, you know, cumulative bits of luck and uh, being in the right place at the right time and getting a good opportunity and um, just perseverance. I think there's just no substitute for it. I didn't have a plan B. I just knew that I wanted to be there and, and, uh, you know, I I, I certainly wish that it happened sooner, but I'm I'm glad it... uh, happened when it did and and here we are today has it been funny uh, because i know you used to open for people in the early days you used to open for people like dwight yoakam and faith hill and those guys as you i mean you know with all ego aside as you transcended those figures and you became an international artist in your own right was it funny to watch that progress as you were going um well, it was it was fun i mean it was it's it's it doesn't seem that long ago that i was in nashville thinking god i hope one day i get a i get a tour bus you know because we were just driving around in vans everywhere i mean crossing america repeatedly in a van was like four of us crammed in there sharing the driving and we did that for years and years so it was just nice to finally you know then get a get a bus and then get a few more things and sort of keep going up up the ladder as it were have you got a nice bus i do have a nice bus yes and it's not lost on me either there's some nights i sit there and i look at the you know i look down the hallway to the front lounge and i think <laughs> good god i've got a bus <laughs> i used to be in a van drawing short stra- drawing straws to see who got the bench seat in the back because it meant you could sleep it does seem a funny thing. It's, it's it's not, I assume, unique to country music, the bus, because your Willie Nelsons, your Kenny Rogers, all those guys travel by bus across America, don't they? Well, everybody travels by bus in America, and it's really the only way to get around. But you've got to have a good bus if you're going to travel those distances. Well, yeah. I mean, gosh, they really did it hard back in the day with the uh, when buses started to, to, be, uh, to be used, I guess, through the... Uh, 40s, 50s, 60s, all through there. You know, they really were just your basic 
Greyhound bus converted with the sort of seats ripped out, and now they're it's a whole different beast. I mean, it's a really beautiful way to travel. It's a palace on wheels. Tell me about the voice and what that's done for you, because I mean, apart from anything else, presumably it means you can go home a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, you know, it's funny that that actually was part that that did factor in for um, deciding to do it as well. As you know, Nick and I both said, well, this is a great opportunity to spend more time in Australia with the parents because, you know, uh, my parents both live there, both of their parents live there. Um, I've got a brother who lives on the Sunshine Coast and uh, got a lot of friends there, so that was part of it. But just a chance to come back and and, uh, do that. I had a great time doing it and um, really glad that you guys are getting to see it there in New Zealand now too. Yeah, no, very successful too. Now, what happens with you? What are all these rumours? There'll be a second season or will there be a second season without you? And do you join American Idol? You know, all of these things that swirl around you. (laughs) Yes, this is certainly an amount of things swirling. Uh, I would love to do The Voice again. They're definitely doing a second season of it. Um, I, I... I'm right. Unfortunately for me, I'm trying to make an album. Well, it's not unfortunate. I, I, you know, I'm making an album right now that might continue on through the beginning of the year. Um, if it does, I'm not going to be able to commit to the voice. But if we can get this album wrangled a little sooner, then I, I would be able to do it. But I know for sure we're going to be touring Australia in, in January, and then. Uh, I, I hope that we know within the next week or so whether we'll be able to do the voice or not. What's your gut? I mean, if you were laying odds at the TAB, is it, what, 50-50 or...? Um, I, I don't know, honestly. I mean, it's there's so many things that we're trying to figure out to be able to do it. My want is to be able to do it. First yep. and foremost, I'd like to be able to do it because I really enjoyed doing it last time. Um I got along great with Seal and Joel and Delta, and if they were all in again, it would be a blast to do it again with them. Okay, and what about the American Idol thing? Is that real or a possibility, or is that just more rumour? Um, they did reach out to us, and um, but I, I, you know, they've, they've been reaching out to a lot of people, so I think they're still figuring out which, you know, which way they're going to go to. Would you be keen to do it? Well, I mean, <laughs> I, I, all I can say right now is I'm trying to make an album, and it's it's. Uh, it's strange how these opportunities seem to all come in one big fell swoop. But um, my priority right now is just making a record. That's that's really got to lead the charge for me. I was going to say, how do you? Because you you work with writers on these things, don't you? I write with different people in town. Yeah, I've I've um, started writing with a lot of different people in this record too that I've never written with before so I'm really enjoying the process. Is it a slow process because I mean television's a you know short you're in you record you're out you're gone whereas this album you're already talking going into next year and we're only in August. Yeah well because it's this, this one's different for me I'm, I'm going about it in a different way I wanted to write with people I've never written with before I wanted to be in the studio with musicians and collaborative people I've never been uh, in the studio before with so it, it, in many ways it's uh, even though this I don't know how many albums I've made now quite a few uh, this is kind of like the first one of the next chapter mm. if you will so it's a little bit um, uncharted territory for me hey, When you say the next chapter this is a planned thing you're doing this is something a page you're turning you're saying this is the new me and here's how it's going to sound well, I think I'm just um, I'm just sort of following my my sort of muse right now. Really, I mean, I'm just drawn creatively to a particular path, and uh, it's one of um, of going somewhere I've never gone before. And I don't mean uh, genre wise. I mm. mean, I sort of my music is is what it is. I think uh, I'm just curious to see what other colours I can put into it this time around. Fantastic. When you deal with people on The Voice, what do you make of this whole... I mean, I know when you began, you you, you got success, you won contests and you got yourself on some television appearances and all of those sort of mm. things, and that must have seemed wonderful. But the, these days it's like turning up on The Voice or American Idol or whatever it is and suddenly you're an instant star. And I mean, is, is that a healthy way of doing it? Is that a way for any sort of longevity? Is that the... Mo- or just, you know, it is what it is? I don't think there's any right or wrong. I think there's just... Uh a particular approach that any of us choose and or get presented with and then the re- you know what then follows after that and and I know for me uh, I went on a few of those shows when I was starting out too they certainly didn't have anywhere near the impact that shows today can have like the voice of course 
uh, that can really be a, an incredible leg up for people. A, because you can find an audience.